Hey what's up guys, this is DJ here and I hope you're doing great. Today I've got some exciting updates from iOS 18 that is going to elevate your iOS experience. So with that being said, let's jump right in. First up, we've got a new security feature for your apps. iOS 18 now allows you to hide and lock applications. Let's say I want to lock local share. I just press and hold and select require face ID or hide and require face ID. And every time you open the app, it'll require a face ID to open. Another major update is customizable lock screen toggles. You can now change the shortcuts like camera button. Simply press and hold on the lock screen, click customize and swap out the camera for something like the calculator. This helps avoid redundant shortcuts since you can still swipe to access the camera. Another customization we have is for the control center. You can rearrange, resize and even add a second page of toggles, offering more customization than ever before. App customization is another standout. You can now have dark mode icons or even choose tinted icons to match your wallpaper. If you prefer a sleek uniform look, this feature will be a game changer. The calendar app saw some great improvements. You can now view your full months and also daily events directly onto the month overview and even integrate reminders into your calendar. Talking about messages, iOS 18 finally supports RCS, so you'll get features like red receipts and high quality media when messaging non-iPhone users. There's an option for emojis and you can scroll between them. You can even schedule your messages for later, allowing you to make it look professional and polite. Another cool feature is in the Notes app and that is called Math Notes, where you can type or draw equations and the app will solve them using AI. A quirky but fun feature is the ability to adjust the flashlight's width and intensity. You can adjust the beam angle by swiping left and right, giving you more control over how you use the flashlight, definitely a pretty awesome feature. Safari now includes a new reader button that hides distracting elements from web pages. You can remove ads, notification and other interruptions with a simple tap. And even if you reload the page, it won't show up. Additionally, the reader mode provides a clean, distraction-free view of articles and even lets you listen to the text being read aloud. One small but neat feature is the bezel subtly reacting when you press the volume buttons. It's a minor detail that adds a touch of interactivity to enhance the overall user experience. And that's it for this video guys. These were our highlights from iOS 18 and I hope you found the information helpful. If there's a feature we didn't mention or there's a feature that you're excited to try or perhaps one you think is getting more attention than it deserves, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear your thoughts.